This is the second video lesson in the Year 8 Game Design Unit of Work. What we're going to look at today is we're going to look to see how we can program a shooter. So let's have a think about what we need in order to create a shooter in our game. Well, we first of all need a character. We also need a bullet that we're going to fire. We need to uh, think about the idea that this bullet is going to be attached to the main character at all times and hidden. Um, but only when we press a fire button, for example a space bar, do we want our bullet to then show and we want it to move um, in the direction that the character's um, facing and we want it to move across the screen, animate across the screen until it touches the edge of the screen. So that's kind of the theory of what we want to happen. Now, how on earth are we going to get the bullet to know which way a character is facing because if the cat for example if we've still got a cat character if it's facing to the left how are we going to make sure that the bullet knows that it needs to move left or if the cat is facing the right how do we need how do we know to uh, ensure that the bullet is going to fire to the right hand side well the way to do that is to create a little variable which is going to um, have a different value when the left arrow key is pressed from when the right arrow key is pressed. So for example, the, it has the value zero when we press the left arrow key, and it has the value of one when we have uh, when we hit the right arrow key. So regarding the direction of where the cat is facing, the number inside that variable is gonna change. And we can use that value um, so that we can make sure that the bullet fires in the correct direction. So in order to actually, first of all, create this variable, we simply go to variables, we make a variable, and then what we can do is we can then set the direction to either zero or one. And when I say direction, that's the val that's the name that we've given this variable. We can set it to zero or one depending on whether we have uh, moved the character, the cat character, to the left, or whether we've moved uh, that character to the right. So what we can do then, and this looks a bit scary at the moment, but let's just talk through this script which is the script that would go inside the bullet um, sprite what we're going to do is we're going to say okay when we start the game when we click the green flag we're going to forever do a check to see if the space bar is pressed and now if the space bar is pressed and the direction is equal to zero then that means that the cat is facing to the left hand side now, if the cat is facing to the left-hand side, then what we want our bullet to do is we want the bullet to point to the left. We want the bullet to show. That's all the, these bits of scripts, um, scripts in here. We want the bullet to show, and we want the bullet to move 10 steps. And we want it to repeatedly do that until it touches the edge of the screen. Now, if the space bar is pressed and the direction value is 1, then that means that the cat is pointing to the right, in which case what we want the bullet to do is we want the bullet to point to the right, we want it to show, and we want it to move 10 steps repeatedly until it touches the edge of the screen. And of course, if we haven't pressed the space bar, then what we want the bullet to do is we want it to go to the sprite and hide, Okay, go to the main character and hide so that the bullet can't be seen. But it would always be moving around with the character. So that's the script, that's the, um, the script that we need. Now let's see if we can actually put this into action. So here we have the file that we had created in our last lesson. We've got the cat that can go left and right and gravity is acting on the cat so that it falls when it's not touching a platform. So what we wanna do is we wanna develop this game now to create our shooter. So to create a shooter, we first of all, don't need to do that. We first of all need to paint a new sprite and let's paint a new sprite just here and that's going to be our bullet we're going to go to code and we're now going to try and code this particular bullet so we're going to say when the green flag is clicked so that's to start the game we are going to have a forever loop so we're going to constantly check a few things the first check we're going to do is to see if the space bar is pressed which obviously is um, in this case going to be our um, firing button. Let's put that one back where it should be. So if the space bar is pressed, and so here what we've got to do is we've got to make sure that we know which way the cat is facing. So I can't actually carry on until I have got some way 
of knowing which way the cat is facing. Now in the previous um, part of this um, video, well, I'd, I discussed the idea that we need to create a variable. So I'm going to create a variable and I'm going to call it direction. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the direction to zero each time I press the left arrow key to make the cat go to the left. And I'm going to set the direction to one each time I want the, I'm going to make the cat move to the right hand side by pressing the right arrow key. So now if you notice up here where it says direction, if I was to click the green flag, it goes, changes to one when I'm going to the right and it changes to zero when I go left. So that can now be used, that value can now be used by the bullet to know which way it needs to face each time I press the space bar. So if I press the space bar, I want the bullet obviously to fire and I'm gonna code that in a minute, but I need to know which way it's gonna go. Uh, so I'm gonna say if the space bar is pressed and if the, where's the equal sign, there it is. If I now go to the variables, I can say if the direction is equal to zero, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, get a repeat until script. So what I want to happen is I want the following code to repeat until the bullet touches the edge of the screen. And what I want the bullet to repeatedly do is I want the bullet to uh, show, so I want it to appear. I want it to point in the correct direction. Now, if direction zero, that means that the cat is facing to the left. So I'm gonna get the bullet to face to the left. I'm gonna make it show, and I'm gonna make it move 10 steps. So what I'm now gonna do is exactly the same again, but this time, I'm gonna do a quick check to see if when the space bar is pressed what happens if directions one well if directions one then I want the bullet to point to the right hand side show and move 10 steps and if the space bar isn't pressed then obviously I don't want the bullet to fire in which case all I want it to do is I want it to go to the main character and I want it to hide where's hide there it is Okay, so here's my script completed. Let's click the green flag and see if it works. Well, that bullet has automatically uh, disappeared, which is a good sign. Hopefully it's hidden and it's where the cat is. And now if I press the space bar and I'm pointing to the right, the bullet fires out to the right hand side. And if I'm pointing to the left, you can see the bullet is now pointing in the correct direction and firing until it touches the edge of the screen. So here is the script that you would need to use if you wanted to create your own shooter. Remember, you make your bullet, you ensure that you've created your direction variable, and you set it to zero when you press the left arrow key, and you set it to one when you press the right arrow key. Now we can program the bullet so that if we press the space bar and the cat is facing the left, in other words, direction zero, then we can make the bullet show, point to the left, and move 10 steps until it touches the edge of the screen. If we press the space bar and directions one, we can do exactly the same thing, and the bullet will, uh, as long as the bullet is pointing to the right. And if we don't touch the space bar, then we want the bullet to hide and stay where sprite one or the cat is.